So good morning guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are back on our county station wagon conversion. Now I appreciate it's been a little bit of time since we've actually been back on this project and that's because it's been at the paint shop. Um, the paint shop have been quite slow on this one but we have thrown an awful lot of work which is, uh, I'll give them a little bit of grace. But the reason why I went to paint was because obviously in the last video that you guys saw we fitted up these rear step tug conversions and we've got it all mounted finally with the subframes underneath and I just wanted to send it to paint because obviously these were bare aluminium. So they painted the whole boot floor, the whole section here. And like I said, we didn't really need to do so um, because we're going to be soundproofing and carpeting it. It's just purely for a, for, a, I don't know really. I just think it's a better job if it's actually painted in the factory colors, much like the factory do. I try to do everything as close to what Land Rover would have done as possible. Now today's episode on this vehicle, I'm keen to get the roof on because the roof is in the way in the workshop. And in order to do so, um, we need to soundproof and everything. And I want to use the light and the space in the cabin so that we can just soundproof, fit that bar, fit the roof. But there's something really annoying about this car uh, that me and Leon have disco discovered. Now off camera, uh, Leon has actually installed the AC conversion. So if you come to the front with me guys, um, we'll jump in here in a second. The dash is pulled forward because we've got to get the heater matrix in and we've done all that and the AC has been fully fitted now. So we have a Land Rover compressor I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference between this and a genuine installation. The only thing that gives it away with these kits is the condenser on the front is not a genuine Land Rover one, but it does exactly the same job. Now we're still to gas up the system, but we fitted the coolant pipes. It's one of those uh, installations that's a little bit difficult to film. You've got to fit, fit a dryer, fit a condenser, fit the compressor, fit a new belt, run all the pipe work forward, and then do all the wiring and the heater matrix in the front there. Now the AC has been installed and uh, we, we're yet to gas it up. but. The thing which is slightly annoying about this car is somebody's had a real go at all the wiring in this car and we've been commissioned to rectify it. Now I can't understand what has gone on here and I know that somebody's wired in heated seats, there's some lights on the roof and it's been using use of universal wiring. Now that kind of stuff is easy to sort out but um, I mean just check out the battery box. This is stuff that we're just going to pull it all out and start again and in order to do that we're going to pull the dashboard off we're going to pull out the cubby box, we're going to rip off all the Hardura because we we're replacing it with carpet and soundproofing and we're going to just pull out all of this mess, rewire it to how we would do in a more of a factory setting. Um, we've already ripped a little bit out actually. So there were just various previous wiring attempts from, I assume many years ago, I don't know what this is. It went down to the fuel cooler on the front, it wasn't plugged into anything, and to be quite frank, that wiring looks like it's gonna catch fire. I don't even know what, that, that looks like a sounder for something. This is obviously an old Bluetooth Alpine unit when you used to have one of those, it didn't when it came into us, so somebody's cut it and just left it behind the dash, and obviously when the dash is out, we've got the perfect opportunity to see everything. And we're just gonna pull the dashboard off for the final time, pull all the hardware out, get everything stripped, pull all the wiring out. Then we can fit that bulkhead bar, soundproof it, and hopefully fit that roof. So we'll get straight to work. very much into his fashion and I always say clearly <laughs> but I want to show him some of uh, Balenciaga's new items and see see what he thinks come have a look at this Leon What's that? <laughs> I want to see your take on some of Balenciaga's latest items what the hell is Balenciaga high vis jacket for three thousand pounds get one of them at Parker's what's Parker's building supplies <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much but this one it's it's already look it's second hand <laughs> second hand <laughs> There you go, here's one.
So guys, this is the interior state at the minute. And we put, we put the roof on yesterday. Now it's a little bit difficult. We can't get a sunroof just yet. So we're gonna hold fire on that. But our mission for today is gonna to be, what do we reckon, Matt? Soundproofing first? Yeah, if we get the soundproofing done first, mm -hmm. and then um, we can finish off all the wiring in the dash and uh, run the cables for the speakers at the back. Yeah, because we've got an amp, haven't we? So Yeah, we can get those wired up and then get carpets done, get the headliner in. Mm -hmm. and then also the main seats in the back here. That's going to be looking so good because this is going to suddenly, if, as long as we get those wirings done for the speaker cables sorted, get the dash in, then it's mm -hmm. literally soundproofing carpet, seats yeah. fitted, side panels on, headliner up, and this will start to look like a car. Yeah, we'll go back to you. Let's Hopefully by the end of this episode, yeah. we will have the interior looking as good as it should. And this is, this is what we've been working towards for all this time. This has been absolutely savage doing all of this. Yeah. There's been so much cutting and it's looking great. We've got some nice little squares of soundproofing, our cappings that you guys saw us make in the last episode, the bars fitted, mm. the step tubs are there. We're just mounting up these frames. We're going to give them the spritz of paint. Yeah, it's going to look really good when you finish today. I think let's grab some tools, get straight to it. Yeah, let's go.
Guys, how good is this vehicle looking? Obviously, we had, we've had it for so long now in a, a very raw state of where the roof's been off, we've got everything, all the cutting, and it's just been, uh, uh, the word I've been using is savage, uh, but it's all starting to come together. And you've just seen us uh, fitting this carpet, and it's really just changing the look. We've added in those side panels, we've just popped up the headliner, we've still got to run our reverse camera, but it is really starting to look good. And the fit and finish on this is incredible everything we have done looks perfect and it's nothing short of perfection everything lines up the bulkhead bar sits within the panel of the little recess that's allowed um, the windows sit great in those panels uh, we're just going to now refit the front seats because we've carpeted the front seat box uh, we haven't fitted the front dashing yet because we've still got to do some wiring but in terms of making this thing look like a car we can now refit those amazing front seats and those new seats that we had uh, re-trimmed to match this whole tan theme that's going with this car so uh, Matt's just cleaning up the original front seats here and then we're going to fit those tumble downs and obviously this vehicle didn't initially have tumble downs so uh, that's going to be interesting to see if everything and all this work that we've done will those seats fit look right and uh, it's been so much work to get this point but it's looking absolutely amazing we've even tinted the rear three windows we fitted the rear mud flaps tinted those rear three so they match the new side windows really started to look good we had three new hinges because they fell apart. And uh, yeah, as I said, the fit and finish on this one looks great. So let's get this front seat fitted. Next important factor, now we've got the two front seats in, uh, I'm slightly concerned, obviously we fitted the, the rear panels, we fitted the rear subframes, 
Uh, the rear tumble downs on a genuine vehicle are notoriously difficult to uh, align and screw in. And I just wonder how these are gonna slot in. Matt, is, Matt you're betting you, you think they're gonna fit. Yeah, I think they're gonna be- You're gonna fit better than the- to put a, no, He's yeah. saying that they're gonna fit better than the genuine ones. And which to be fair, we measured them and they, they fit perfectly. But you guys are gonna watch us fit the, uh, the tumble downs for the very first time and actually install them and see how they look in this vehicle along with all the other modifications we've carried out. So this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, hopefully it goes, goes well. Definitely, I think so. Let's fit them. And they just look perfect. The colour is matched absolutely spot on. I don't think if anyone knew any better, they would be able to tell that this is not a genuine conversion or has been like this from the factory. This is absolutely perfect. The placement, the fitting, everything, they all fold forward, they all fold up. Lovely with that fresh air, that's gonna be perfect. But like I said, the fit and finish of this one. We're just getting better and better. This is just... When they're folded up, look at that. Unbelievable. Honestly, that looks so, so good. I can't wait to see this come together with this carpet piece here, which we haven't fitted because we're still crawling around here. We're just gonna get it dirty with our shoes and whatnot. But this car, I'm so excited to see this one. We've got to fit the reverse camera. We've got to fit the front headliner and, and our sunroof. And the lights, the reverse lights and the, and the two beams on the front. The reverse light and the ones on the front and do yeah. the wiring. We've got to refit. We've got to just, we left the dash off so that we can get the wiring sorted and just make this thing absolutely perfect. With the dash off, we have all the access we need to make this thing, you know, the wiring, get it as perfect as possible. But with this carpet kit fitted and these seats fitted, it just looks so, so perfect. And this bulkhead bar is so tightly snugged against this, this trim panel here. We've got that thing absolutely spot on. The doors close beautifully. Um, and obviously we had the roof off, the doors, we had this thing down to paint, we had the rear door off, all the shut lines are perfect. Yeah, it's there's close a, together perfect. Like, it all fits together so well. Exactly that. The front screen is bonded again. This is, uh, this is gonna be one very, very nice car. It's one of those things, you know, I've seen some of you guys in the comment section saying, why would you, you know, why would you convert it from a van to a county station wagon? You know, when you can just go and sell it and buy something else. But I don't think that's what it represents. You know, uh, this, the, 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 uh, the customer's owned this vehicle for a long time. And you know, when you know the vehicle, you've had many memories with it, you want to build upon that. And that's the beautiful thing about these, these vehicles. They're so versatile. You know, one day you can just say, it's been used as a van for X amount of years, and now I can just switch it into a county station wagon and uh, get some really enjoyment out of it with a few nice modifications. Who knows, in a few years, he might want a, want a pickup truck and it can be exactly the same thing. We can tear it all down and start again. But we've got, Matt's built up all the new door cards here with all the armrests, all the nice leather trims, all the nice billet aluminium, genuine door cards only. Um, there's, there's no other way about it. You, there's no point, guys, if you're thinking about replacing your door cards, do not even bother with the aftermarket solutions. Um, genuine is the way to go. And I think these are about 400 quid, which is a lot of money, but Trust me, so, so worth it. And then Matt's gone ahead and sound dead in the back of the door cod and all the doors. And um, the noise of the doors now, it sounds like a golf rather than a clangy old Land Rover. 
Yeah, it's proper, really key, clean and refined. It's a proper slam. Yeah. Nice and solid. And what we're really excited about this one is I ran the audio wires really neatly along the central harness, which you guys were seeing in the, uh, earlier in the video. And they, they neatly jumped down here behind the panel, behind the seat belt, and over and into the, uh, into the driver's footwell, but, uh, into the driver's seat box where we've wired in the amp. Now, uh, this speaker cable is so much bigger um, than the original Land Rover wiring. So the audio quality in this vehicle is gonna be super, super clear. The clarity is gonna be great. And with this, uh, you know, the carpet we're adding, the soundproofing we've added, this thing is gonna sound punchy. And that's exactly what this vehicle's about. Just lifting this vehicle up, refining it, making it comfortable, usable, a nice clean vehicle. And um, it's just come together so perfect so far. So uh, I think in the next episode, we're hoping that we'll have the interior buttoned up, dashboard on, and then it's all ready to just show off. We literally now, we're, we're 90%, aren't we? Yeah, it's point. dashing. Once we've done yeah. the wiring, dashing. It's going to be like really quick yeah. until it's look, it's looking like, really good. It still looks like a broken down stage, but I think we can see past, you know, with this whole back end looking like this as it is, there's just a few little bits left yeah. in this thing to make this thing come to life as a county station. And, uh, but yeah, one of those things I think you guys are going to have to catch up with us in the next episode. It'll probably be next week this thing's all buttoned up. So uh, do drop a comment, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, give us a follow on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. And please subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next interesting episode.